Okay. Yeah, let me know if you guys see it. Like, I can I can see on OBS if it if it's doing it. But I'm not always looking at this. Let me know if you do see any any issues. But it seems good now. Um, okay, can't go down here because we don't have whatever tool we need for that yet. I'm just gonna say it's a hook shot. Lots of Zelda inspiration. Ooh, it's a sword. It's a big sword. We'll just say it's a hook shot. Hello. Barb the bird. Oh, hello there, fellow traveler. Go on, tell all. How's your adventure going? Got any exciting tales I could knock out a song about? Reason being, I'm up in these here mountains seeking inspiration for my next masterpiece. I heard a monster lives up in the mountaintops. Can you believe it? That drunk fellow outside the stranded sailor says he's lost his love to the beast. Fancy that. Boy, I see it. There's gotta be one heck of an epic battle awaiting me up ahead. If only I could smash up these blasted rocks blocking the path. If only. Are these my, uh, is this my mana? It's, yeah. it's my, my mana object. Yeah, I think it's okay now. I think we're good. At least good enough for this game. Like I said, I'll mess around more off stream now that I know what part of the issue is. Oh, do I have to talk to you again? Look, I did it. Look at that, mate. You smashed it. You're a legend. You might even be the inspiration for my next big tune. Yeah, if it's all the same to you, I might just tag along on your adventure. See you around. Yeah, I guess every every great hero needs a bird far, uh, following around. Singing tales of the adventures. Yeah. Okay. I know there's something hidden behind some of these uh, ice blocks at some point. I'll bet. Okay, um, this is a good vantage point. Looks like the castle. Let me go over here to the right and make sure, because that looks like we're supposed to be going to the mountaintop through the castle. Oh, there's a life seat here. Not that I need any of those. Ah. Oh, and there's a sewer here. Souls. game feels nostalgic even though you played it a week ago yeah i guess because like even playing it the first time it's got you know it feels a little nostalgic for the old zelda games just in the puzzles and its mechanics it's very familiar magic. I don't even know if I'm gonna fill up any of these. I guess I missed a few. The music too, yeah. yeah absolutely. Especially this right here. It's very, like, like the um, Zelda Towns. Like, none of them in particular, but it's got that same that same feel to it. Like any of the towns or cities in, in Zelda. Or maybe some in particular. I haven't actually played through... Zelda games in quite a while. What, uh, what are we doing here? 
Oh. Okay. Oh, I see. I don't have that many souls, right? Not quite enough for anything. Hey, but hey again, pal. Hope you don't mind me tagging along. Seems like we need to find a way through this old fortress if we want to get up to that mountain. Well, I say we. I mean you. I'll just hang around here and work on the lyrics for my next banging tune. Let me know if you find a way up. So maybe, maybe that's something I should do and just go through and... Probably not on stream. Probably be quite the task, but go through and play, uh, play all, through all the Zelda series again. Going back to Breath of the Wild, I, I do not like Breath of the Wild. I think it's a very bad Zelda game. Like not judging it on its own merits, but like judging it as a Zelda game, I think it's it's not very good. And doesn't have a lot of the things that make Zelda games what they are. Uh Okay. Elevator. Oh, see, we're gonna have to do like this probably, yeah. Ew. I don't have hookshot yet. Oh shit. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, uh. Oh, they come back after a little bit. Okay. You're getting faster. You sure are. Meow. Like, the exploration in Breath of the Wild is, is cool, but, like, you don't... I feel like you don't really find much... Oh, new enemies. Ow. There's not really any like, new items you ever get. It's mostly just shrines to get HP. You know, you don't... You don't get that satisfaction of finding, like... You know, the bow, the hookshot, your magic and everything. It's just, you kind of... Don't really find anything cool like that. Oh. Ow. I don't understand your attacks. There we go. Come uh, back down here. Oh, you're throwing. Then you do you do like a double swing, right? Swing, swing. Ow! Might die here. Probably gonna die here. Go ahead and shoot. Shoot your shot. And then there's the weapon durability in Breath of the Wild. Not a, not a fan. You know what, I'm just gonna... In order to not die here... gonna blast you to death. Easy. <laughs> you cheesed. There, uh, there was a life pot in the last room, I think. It's so gold. Bye, brick friend. Oh, there's a thing up there, too. On the other end of a sewer. I don't know what that is, though. Uh, 
Uh, well, there's probably one ahead. There's usually one after the arena rooms. Oh, we're back here. Okay. This is a good one to plant anyways. Let's go this way. Oh, here's the door. Yeah, up here there's... I don't know, that might be a weapon. Sewer we have to use. Um, keys up there. Yeah, that's that's definitely that was definitely part of what I don't like about it. Like you just, it was usually just like you would find weapons and then you use those weapons and they break in like twenty or thirty hits. Like the dungeons, the dungeons were actually pretty cool and creative, like for the first one, but all of them kind of felt. Similar, though they didn't really have that much variance to them. Oh shit. Not where I wanted those to go, but you know. first. Damn it. <laughs> it'd be at like 1 HP. What you doing, bud? Not attacking me, that's what. That's the golden one. How many do you shoot? Three? Three. Yeah, I'm gonna go back and get you in a second. Don't stop it. that attack in there. They shoot so fast. <laughs> Dead. Is there no other door in here? No. Oh, I know where one more burb is. Take a, take a look around, see what else we got. Um, I can actually go up here. Maybe that thing about the doors actually, like the, uh, the grapple for these. Yeah, he's gotten me a few times too. He's 
I'm never expecting them to shoot as fast as they do. Like, compared to the other archer units, they're so slow. I don't think I know where any key doors are, though, right now. I guess I have to go down there. <laughs> Again, I'm a bird who can't fly for some reason. Can't even glide. Grab this. There's another path there, though. We're going on a going on a trip here. Wait, this might be the one for up top, actually. Good. <laughs> Who are you? Ancient crown. Feels unusual to the touch as if it once contained life. Is it a shiny thing? No, oh, it's just a shiny thing. That doesn't help me. Here's a key door. Where do you go? Probably to another arena. Yep. He turns just, like, perfectly. It's perfect tracking, so can't really... Ow. There was a mask there still. <laughs> hey, guys. Myself here, but there's no good timing for that guy. He's just, he's just constantly attacking, and you can't rotate around him because he just. 10, he just 180s you and 360s you. I don't won't take so much damage from the first one here. He says that he immediately takes damage from a basic bitch mage. jump constantly. One, two, okay. Ow. I 
Yeah, he's got, you gotta beat up the double and then the jump and then... Get stuck on the stairs. One... One... Two... Oh, he didn't jump! Yeah. Okay, there we go. Honestly, the dagger's range is kind of hurting me there. We want to get that gray sword. Maybe that'll be good. Uh, posted in this fortress, I have learned a great deal about the old Lord of Doors. Still don't much care for them. That was that was Sky opening a ginger ale. Not me opening a not me opening a beer. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> The, no other exit out of here? Alright. That's it, huh? Although I do I do have some beer in the fridge. Maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll get a beer for Warhammer tonight. That feels like a good day good day to have a gold beers. Yeah, this is the other arena. Right? Oh, he's over there. Okay. Um, where's the, where's the last one? We're gonna have to do the last one to get. We're gonna have to do all of them to get the item. Here lies Lord Lockstone, the first Lord of Doors to make a deal with death. Their legacy is inestimable, as and their reign absolute. A cold ruler concerned with law and order who consolidated power and would go on to build the foundation of the Hall of Doors. Uh, fire. Oh, I see. We need to light a few more of those. Okay, I can't do this yet. Oh, hello. Spirit of Lord Lockstone. This is the resting place of we, the Lord of Doors. I am Lord Lockstone, for whom this crypt was named. We, Lord of Doors, are an anomaly. A mistake of the universe, some might say. But it is that is that not an apt description of all life? A mistake of the universe, one which grows and thrives? Existence born into consciousness. And to preserve that consciousness is the most important and noble goal. You say so, bud. Go and take a shot. Guy first. Avoid the archer. It's so hard to get to the archer with this dude just standing in front of him. Two. Three. Now you die. 
River number three. Entombed alongside the old lords. I suppose someone would call it an honor. I would call it a tragedy. You know, all this Zelda talk, maybe what I should do is play um, Skyward Sword, like the, the remake, because I never actually... Uh, I never played that, because I didn't own a Wii U. Because the Wii U is a bad console. What's this do? Down there. Okay. But I also heard Skyward Sword was like not great either but apparently the the remake's a little better that might be another option to get my zelda fix can i actually get over to that gate stairs either. I couldn't see from that other angle. So we got laser there, laser there. Okay, they're not they're not permanently on. I was kind of worried how I was gonna get past them. So I'm just going to heal up. Excuse me. One, two, jump for me. It's just these little bugs. Even from the last area. Not really that scary. Though they are the only thing to have hit me so far. say, here lies Lord Theodore, uh, the first successor in the lineage of lords. Their transition to power was smooth and their reign egalitarian. Remembered for their fair nature and forcing better working conditions for reapers. Theodore. My life is ending, but this lord plans to live forever. It doesn't feel fair to me.
There's a thing over there. Well, there's no way up there from the side, so... I assume my next task, after I get the item here, is gonna be to light all of those. Flip above where that key was. Let's have to go back to the door. Nothing else up here. Here and up here. Now I have to go get eaten by a mimic. You'd think he'd learn. You'd think he'd learn to not get eaten by the mimic. I oh, see these are gonna be. Grapple points. With light fixtures. Go get eaten first. Alright, let me have it. Oh, he's he's stretching, he's limbering up, he's ready. <laughs> I guess I guess he kind of does know it know it's coming at least. Oh, jeez. Lines of fire. Can't, uh... Soften those guys up a little bit. Okay, boomerang men's. This is an annoying set of enemies. Boy, these knights are the worst. Wait, I'm aiming that way. There we go. Hit the knight with it. Make yourself useful. Big boy. Oh, jeez. Ow. Did do the run again? No, he's not doing the run. He did the run there. <laughs> that running attack was so fast. Hello, Bird Lord. A gift to a fellow crow to aid on your quest. That's me. Shot spell acquired. What's a spell? 
report to switch. Okay. And... Oh, it doesn't take mana, so not really a spell. Excellent. Appears to be Reapers been in Longbook. The removal of the legacy doors has seriously impeded my investigation into the disappearance of the Reapers in the redacted region. This whole process of transferring into the new system has been a nightmare. I found evidence that many workers were active in the region when the orders were given to cut them off. More worrying still is that the active reaping mission in the area was also purged from the system. Somewhere out there is a soul that has not been reaped on time. The recipe for disaster, that's for sure. We all know what happens to the souls if they remain alive past their death state. Oh, this is back to the start, isn't it? Yeah, it's the bus stop. That vodka reckons that something big is gonna happen here soon. You know anything about that, buddy? Nope. It's a crow. Just a humble crow. Was there anywhere... Oh, hey guys. I don't know why anyone's complaining. These things are adorable. And they like the same TV shows as me. Okay, I don't remember if there was anywhere where we needed the hookshot in the overworld here. Uh, okay, that's the castle there. I look around, just... Just to see. This game does like its secrets. And so far there's been like a use for every spell we've gotten in this area, so it makes sense. Wait. Ah. It would make sense that we use this somewhere too. Oh, it's a little door. He found a scale model of a Reaper door. It doesn't function, was probably made to evaluate the designs for modern doors that the Reapers use today. This appears to be the banned logbook. I'm done with this job. I found the notes from the investigator looking into the events around the disappearances of Reapers and the closures of all those active doors. This Lord of Doors doesn't give two shinies about any of us crows. What is it all for? Myself and a few other Reapers I've convinced to join me are heading into the Forbidden region to see what we can find. I hope we can start a new life without the commission. New challenge awaits us. <laughs> Look at all my shinies. So many shinies. I wonder if the more life life seeds you plant, the more of these guys show up here in base. How many souls do I have? The last melee is uh, 1,500. I'm going to get a magic. Let's get another dex, I guess. Or even faster stabbing. Wait, why is this one all black? I don't know this guy. Mistake. 
Like, they were next to the Black Flower? I guess they haven't chatted with those guys in a while. My little friend got into the ink supply, the poor dear, although she still doesn't seem to mind. Maybe she just loves the smell of ink as much as I do. <laughs> They're so derpy. Uh, okay, where are these, where are these other doors? Over this way, right? They haven't even really explained what they are yet. They're just little, like, sprites. Alright, bye, buddy. But it makes me want to plant more life seeds to see if more of them show up. Alright, we have the hook shot now. Possibilities are endless. Not that. You just. Oh, you can actually hookshot two of those. That's interesting. Um, let's see. Go here. I feel like, now that you have the hookshot, you have to go back through, like, the entire game. I'm pretty sure there's hookshot stuff in just every single level. Here lies Lord Opengate, third in the lineage of the lords. Their rule was steady and without hindrance. A ruler skilled at delegation, they spent many of their years expanding their knowledge while traveling the vastness of space. You wanna, you wanna have a chat, bud? Greetings, young reaper. Your presence here is quite a conundrum. It would indicate that the course of events which started with the formation of Death's Door have led the universe to the brink of great peril. However, it is also indicative that these actions are correcting themselves. Life is merely the universe experiencing itself. And as the universe seeks balance in all things, we, as parts of it, are all acting to maintain that balance. Stay true to your path, young reaper. I can sense victory in your future. Thanks, Dad. Uh... I don't remember all the places I need to go now. Yeah, I think both the outside areas had hook shots we needed. For sure. Well, I don't know if needed is the right word. But there's souls here, so. That was it up here. I need to get back up there as well, because we can get across. Oh yeah, there's a key up here. Um I think I got up to that lever by going down and around that way. But let's get this key first. Yeah, that way is up top in the main room. Hello. I don't think there was any hook shots here. But there might have been up this way.
this is the arena. I think I'll at least need to go back to um, before the castle, maybe to get that that sword that was out there. I'm not sure if I have to go back there or if it's like gonna be post post castle. Okay, shortcut unlocked. What did that do? Oh. Um, okay. Um... So... Grappling to reach that far. Yeah. Uh, key door there. Let's go this way first, though. I assume the key is where we have to go. Oh, well, we have to go here, too. Who is this? Here lies Lord Deadbolt. The fourth in the lineage of the Door Lords, their rule was dark but produced efficiency among Reapers. An overbearing ruler concerned with keeping order and funding research into other sustainable forms of life extension. My life was not easy. The balance of the universe was my duty and mine alone. The Lord who created me had delusions about fate and purpose. But fate did not bind me to death's door, duty did. No other could take the task of controlling life and death, so I bore the burden. I bore it for as long as I could, even extending my life beyond the bounds set by the pitiful anachronism that is death. When my life finally drew to a close, my successor paid no heed to my teachings. I fear their reign may have destroyed the balance I tried so hard to maintain. What a bitter disappointment they have been. Greatness is seldom free, Crow. True greatness may even cost you your soul. Is that foreshadowing? Sounds like foreshadowing. Did it again. Am I gonna take double? Am I gonna die from that? No. Okay. <laughs> I thought I was gonna take double damage there. Wait, can I shoot these? Oh, I totally can. I'm going too fast. Probably be a pretty good speedrun game. It feels it feels pretty good to go fast in this game.
Just because the controls are so fluid. Hey, Theodore. <laughs> Sweet child, look at what has happened to your life at the hands of our chaos. I was never sold on the idea of preserving the course of life and death. Each lord creates the next in succession before their death, and teaches them the lord's path. My creator, the lord before me, bound me to their system. All I could do was try and balance the world as fairly as I could. I tried my best to do right by the living, especially the crows, recruited into something they had no business in. If opportunity presents itself, child, ending this cycle would be what is right for the universe. My lifetime was too short to come to that ultimate conclusion, but I remain hopeful that others will reach it on their own. Let's see what I can do. No promises. I'm just a crow. Oh, oh no! No! My friends! A monster? Oh no. Uh. Why would they do this? Hey, I did the thing. Hey, you got that old elevator working. Perfect timing, too. I just finished the next chapter of my song. Do you want to hear it, I imagine? Not really, but. So yes, anyways. All right, here we go. I'll tell you a tale as old as time. A classic repeating parad parag paragon. <laughs> a maiden trapped at the peak of our climb. Her fisherman love driven out of his mind. The hero will right the wrongs of this crime. Oh. It, it needs it needs a little something. It needs a little something more. Ooh, what do you think? Yeah, stun silence. That's what I was expecting. Alright then, I'll meet you further up the mountain. Don't get in any trouble on the way. At least not without me. Hey, Maddie. How's it going? That was, that was quite the song. From our bird friend. It needs, it needs a little something, though. Not quite there. Bad song. Alright, I need... Where's, where's the sword? Can I get to it from out here? I want the sword. We've been, we've been rocking the daggers for a while. And I wasn't really a fan of the hammer. Over here, right? Yeah. Yeah, it, 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 you know, it, needs, it needs a little something at the end there. Uh, what does this say? There are weaknesses in the walls that the eyes can't see. Beneath a wooden walkway, a secret waits for thee. The wooden walkway, okay. okay. Ow! <laughs> I made a mistake. Done. 
I get wrecked, idiot. Um, the game's the game's definitely uh, pretty good. I'm enjoying it for sure. Do your do your melee. Itch. It explodes. Wait, oh, I can climb. I'm alive. Wait. <laughs> no, I was alive. You lied to me, game. all over again do i no okay that didn't count as dying to like the encounter so the encounter is over oh you're just a uh, here's the shard i have two of each by the time i actually Beat the game. Maybe. Maybe I'll have a single upgrade to health or mana. Alright, so this thing was talking about under a wooden walkway. Weaknesses and walls that eyes can't see. Huh. Oh, this is one of four, okay. Um, behind twin columns, a secret waits for thee. Twin columns. There was more to hookshot over here, isn't there? Let me fully explore this area, I guess. Hey, friend. Damn. That was rude. Oh, come on, that really should... I feel like that shouldn't hit me. Ow, die. You're so damaged. Why won't you die? There we go. Behind twin columns. Oh, it's a shiny. It's a teddy bear. You found an ink-covered teddy bear. This would be very cute if it wasn't so disgusting. Twin columns. Another shiny over there. Uh, looks like maybe actually around that path there. Twin columns, twin columns. I want that sword. Really want that sword. You found an adventurer journal. It's very damp. The pages seem to be stuck together. Gross. Doubt it would be. I don't know. I feel like it's probably all in that same region. And then it wouldn't be too far away from there. The, uh, the bartender said something about the graveyard, too, though, didn't he? I don't know if it's this graveyard, or there's, like, the, uh, 
starting area. It's all in that area, yeah, I, I figure as much. But I also want to backtrack a little bit and make sure there wasn't any hookshot stuff I missed. be any columns across um so let's take a look up top here It looks like twin columns yet. I feel like I don't have this clue yet, but I feel like there's one here, though. Very good at video games. Beneath a gargoyle, a secret waits for thee. <laughs> well, I guess this could be twin columns. That wall was just too suspicious. Beneath the gargoyles, so it's gotta be closer to the castle. Maybe. No, no gargoyles over here. Where are there gargoyles? Was that was that twin columns? Oh, these these twin columns. Okay. Well, that wasn't twin columns then. So this this clue probably would have led me to that one I already found, right? Giant face. Yeah. Okay. Got that one already. So now I have to find the gargoyle. There was two late columns in the outsides of that wall I, I hit. Um, let me check back over this way. Oh, hey, you're back. I don't have any HP. Not cool. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Did he, did he hit me with his elbow? Bullshit. Well, hopefully all those uh, blocks stayed hit. Not like I don't know where they are, but, you know. I'm just over here Dark souls in this guy. I'm just standing under his ass. Being invincible. He has 50 souls every time, though. It's not a bad soul farm. Um... No gargoyles here. It's gotta be all, like, up on the upper area there. That's where they all were so far. I guess this one wasn't. I, I probably should check, actually. Okay, yeah, they're still hit. Oh, I guess I could have. I guess I could have seen the gate. the face. Ah, there he is. The backside here. We exist to serve those who oppose the Lord of Doors. Let's see. Look at that sword. Hopefully it's good. Dagger is very good, but I want to mix it up a little bit. I was not a fan of the hammer. A little too slow for my liking. Especially in this game, because like you can't uh, animation cancel your attacks with a dash. Like, it works better because these attacks are super quick, so you can basically always dodge out of it. That's also purple. He found a great sword. It was clearly witted by a very imposing figure once upon a time. You can equip it from the weapons menu. Let's see. Damage, good range. Not, like, terrible swing time, actually. I think the same as the hammer. But it's more range and more damage. It's got a two-hit combo. The charge attack actually seems pretty cool. We'll give it a shot. souls do I have? Uh, not really enough to buy anything, so. Let's just head back on into the castle. I think I'm gonna like, I'm gonna like the range, I think. Because some of these guys, especially like that, that Halberd Knight, um, can't really stay in there too long with the daggers, so it was just kind of hit and run. I feel like this is going to be better for that. Get a swing in, back away, get a swing in. 
and not be in quite as much danger. Into the uh, into the bird cage here. It's quite appropriate. More seeds. Right. Um. To our camp. See you soon. That sounds a little ominous. Honestly. Anything over here? No. It's a little hard to aim. Really slow. The turret to tag is. So probably won't use that too much. This bridge looks uh what's what's holding this bridge up? There's no there's no supports anywhere. Press that at all. HP back. Camp of the Freak Rose. Oh, these are like the, the rebels. A key? Hello? Oh. Las Vega. <laughs> Welcome to the Camp of the Freak Rose, old friend. We knew you'd make it here eventually. Even if you needed a bit of guidance along the way. <laughs> We're a group of free-thinking individuals who reject the ideas of the Lord of Doors. We do want, not want unnatural immortality. We must come at the cost of, if it must come at the cost of our lives. What's the point of living forever if it's to be as a slave? No, we choose to live free and die free. So go, climb ever higher, defeat the beast at the top of the mountain, and claim its soul. Oh, but make sure you're well prepared before you head onwards. Remember... You're welcome here anytime you like. Hello. No, you don't want to chat? Oh, wait, you don't want to chat. Rook. Welcome, foretold crow. We live a simple life here, foraging and living off the land. Even use fur shed by the beast atop the mountain as bedding. Oh, hey guys. Nice houses you got up there. Raven. The foretold crow. It's an honor to meet you. Did you find any of our shrines on your journey? Seems there are still 12 shrines you have yet to find. I'm sure they will help you on your journey in, in the fight with the beast atop the mountain. Or a screen, foretold crow. This is the gate of knowledge. Its eyes see all things. Its heart knows all things. And its soul exists in all things. It whispers to us when we need guidance. It foretold your arrival and your destiny. Now, oh, does that anything to say to me? Apparently not. Jackdaw. We abandoned all our assignments, which means our life now ticks away. However, we're happier for it. This is the way it should be. Without death, new life cannot grow. And this is the way. Hmm. 
missing 12 shrines. The Frozen Canyon. Exercise caution. It's, uh, it's quite a steep climb going up here. My pipes are still wheezing. You must be pleased as punch, though, huh? I mean, a secret crow society up here in the mountains? Who knew? They have so many great stories about their lives up here. Especially about the beast atop the mountain. Yeah, I'm getting so much inspiration from our adventure. I think my next song might be the greatest I've ever written. And I've written more than five. Five whole songs, huh? This... The Beast Slayer via the old watchtowers. Um... Oh, they've been making the signs, I guess. What's with this? Shiny thing? You found a shiny medallion. You're a real winner. Thanks. Um... Well, obviously I want to go to the place that says, uh... Exercise caution. Because I ain't no bitch. Also, how do I get... Oh, it's over there. Hang on. Grab those souls real quick. Use that. 550. Not quite enough for anything yet. I like the way he carries the sword, too. Looks good on him. And, and you know, it's purple. It's on brand. Oh god, it's slippery. Of course it's slippery. You're timed, huh? Eh. Oh, jeez. I want to... Eh, mana. That's fast. Um... I'll be like sliding when I shoot. Nah. <laughs> no. I gotta shoot the first one from like here ish. I guess I can probably shoot that one from up here, so as long as I get the first one, I think it doesn't matter. It's a bad angle, anyways. No, you can't. Okay. Yeah, I wish I had the uh, the shooting speed increase. <laughs> Probably help a lot here. Three of them. 
Um. Can I? Oh. Wee. Oh, please. Oh. Oh, you son of a bitch. Don't fall off. Ah, oh, I slid a little. I think that corner a little too wide. Almost good. Of kind of mana. That was good too. Flip the off target. Anyways, that's the first one then. But I don't. I don't think it's gonna let me shoot around this. We gotta. We gotta do the slide. Where can I shoot this from though? But hang on. I'll destroy. Can I shoot through there? Yeah, I can. So sli it's so slippery stuff. Damn it. No, 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 no. This one. Oh, I left. All oh, that for a shrine, huh? A lot of work for a shrine. It was a cool way to do an ice puzzle, though. Like, really having to take advantage of the sliding to have enough momentum. Up we go. Is that? You need to be lit. Yeah, but you don't stay lit. Interesting. Hey, fellas. Music is so good. We gone. Yeah. 
Yeah, the sword's pretty good. I'm happy with the sword. Do you want to come down here? You're just going to jump around up there. Come on. No, oh, alright, well. I'll be over there eventually. Okay, so like there's all there's all these torches. Pretty sure need to be lit, but they just they just go out. Gotta be something else I'm looking for. A shortcut over to over to there, okay. Is right at the start, right? Yeah, okay. Good shortcut. Dang, the weather sure is rough up here. The wind's just howling through my pipes. Still, a bit of bad weather's never deterred me before, especially with the beast so close now. Wonder what it looks like. Based on what the crow said, it sounds like a proper monster. All hairy and wild. Can't wait to see you fight it. Oh, it's up. Damn it. <laughs> Another shortcut there. This looks like a fight, hey, but oh, ow, there's lasers. Yeah, get lasered, idiot. No more. One, two, 
Get the mage. Well, that's a scary fight. Oh, there's heals up there. These lasers keep going. No, laser stop. Laser stopped? Okay. <laughs> Just double check. The hookshot uh, sword combo is pretty good. Get in there, double tap them, and get out. Unlocked, but I haven't been over that way, have I? Let's go first. Probably just another. Actually, I bet that uh, that lever opens both of these. Hey, <laughs> Alter, you're addicted to back for blood now. I mean, it's it's pretty fun. But it's just hopefully they fix the max for making issues. Or rather, the lever issues. It's back over here. I don't want to drop down there yet. Oh, wait. We can't get back this way? This guy said she's uh, down to play tonight after... Uh, after tabletop. He'll be fine. We're not... I don't think we're playing too late tonight. It's probably going to be a shorter session, Titus said, so... We'll go take a nap then. <laughs> They're just a suggestion. Oh, okay. Well, they're not allowed to complain about being tired. Sorry, what? I said that you're not allowed to be complain about being tired. <laughs> Three people better, yeah. I would suggest Fatimir, but he's uh, probably probably going to bed after Warhammer because it's like past midnight for him. I have to get up there. I don't think Paydubs has a key. I guess you should ask him now if he's going to want to play, and then I can have Sky send him one of her extra keys. Slippery. Good. Yeah, just that way he can download it beforehand. Has to go. Don't laser me.
Oh, how did I miss both of both of you? Come here, wizard. Honestly, I don't I don't haste the ice movement for fighting. It lets me slide around stuff. Tokyo drift these fools. I'm not sure what we're looking for at the end here, but uh Oh. Uh can I get back there to you? Without sliding off. Okay. We definitely have to light those like sconces, but I don't know how. The arena, yeah. Fucking ice capades out here, man. Oh no, I got rolly boys too. is very good. Would have been probably pretty obnoxious with the daggers just trying to get into range of everything. Oh, come on, that's not fair. Can't immediately jump like that. I'm gonna go kill these flowers. Kill these flowers. Kill you, flowers. Hey, you. Stop it. Come here. Oh my god, there's more waves. Well, at least I was up there by the archers already. Hey, you guys want to come up here not on the ice, honestly? Like, oh, you're just gonna throw shit at me, huh? Oh, that's bullshit. to get something upgraded, I think. I'll look at all my stuff. So much stuff. Thousand... Base speed, faster dodges, sure. Suburbia. Game is game is very good. Would recommend. It's probably a little short. People are saying like, I mean, I'm I think I'm I'm getting close to the end here. I have like this boss and then probably the final boss. Uh, and it's probably about like six to like eight hours for the main story. But there's a there's a bunch of stuff I haven't gotten yet as well. And apparently there's some endgame stuff after the boss too. Never shooting Burb again. Burps can be real obnoxious in Back for Blood. It, sometimes they just spawn in real obnoxious places. Alright. Round two. 
Come on up here, boys. At least in Versus, there's no birds. That man is just rolling forever down there. Well, not anymore. Now he's dead. Archers up here next. Roll out of that. That was sliding. Man, I can almost outrange these guys with the sword. Stop. Stop punching me to death. Stop. <laughs> beast this is it that's the beast oh boy my heart is pounding are you gonna fight it i'm gonna stay well out of the way and uh take notes for my song good luck oh it's a bumble <laughs> okay so i guess that other door with the the torches has to be a secret or something since this is the boss apparently maybe he doesn't seem very scary. He's just kind of picking his nose. Hello. I need your soul. Betty. Wait, this is the the drunk was talking about a Betty. Backhand me. Ow. The backhand. It's too strong. Gonna hit. You're... Kind of all over the place, huh? Ah, oh, shit. Death. Man, Frog King was so easy, too. I first tried Frog King. Not the backhand. I saw it coming, I could do nothing. Please, please stop, get me out of this corner. I got the fucking backhand. Stop it. No. <laughs> Maybe I should go dagger for this. In front, they're under. Seems pretty safe. Now, until when the rolling comes, stop. I keep being stuck, like in the roll, so it hits me after my my roll finishes. Oh, that can damage me. Okay. <laughs> Betty, why are you so tough? 
So rock steady and she's always ready. She sure is. Oh, you're rolling already. Hmm. Oh, come on. I was, I was rolling that. We really just gotta keep our distance on the rolls. If we get caught in that first one, it gets like... The back end. That hit me. That was the other fist. I was on the opposite side of that fist. Okay, I got a feel for it now. Back in. Dagger's definitely the play. The rolls. Why are there snowballs? I don't sign up for snowballs. The soundtrack is so fucking good. I'm gonna have to buy the soundtrack. Get wrecked, buddy. We gather here today to mourn the passing of Betty. To some, she was revered as a god. To others, feared as a wild, untamable beast. And, to a small few, loved as a radiant beauty. After many lifetimes lived atop the mountain, supplying locals with fur and untimely deaths, she can now rest. Bow your head in remembrance, pay your last respects. Her time in this world is over. Rest in peace, Betty. What an incredible adventure this has been. Full of twists and turns. So Betty and the Beast were one and the same. Amazing. That means the drunken guy at the Stranded Sailor, was he in love with the Beast? Whoa. I kind of feel bad for them both now. Dead or heartbroken, which do you think is worth? They're both kind of tragic. Still, it's great material for a song, huh? I'm gonna start writing straight away. Once it's ready, come by the Stranded Sailor. Sometime and I'll play it for you. Um, because I needed her soul. Because I'm a reaper. And basically, Betty was, um, it was... You're, you're killing individuals who, like, escaped death, essentially. They're, they're beyond their time where they should be alive. So we have to go reap them and take their soul. Yes, that's, that's our dandelion. This thing is part of the song already. It was really bad. How many souls did Betty give me? Another eight. Another eight hundred. Toss a coin to your reaper. Big spender. An achievement. That's me. Alright, well. 
We gotta go talk to the, the Grey Crow now, that we have all our souls. Rain needs a dandelion. He would need like, like a, a metal bird though. He needs someone to play like some hardcore metal for rain. I don't have the key for this. But I, I've probably missed... I've definitely missed quite a bit in this game. I might do I might do one more stream next weekend and like... 100% it and finish up all the stuff I've missed. But I don't know yet. Okay, you did it. You're a much stronger Reaver than I. You've never taken down those giant souls alone. It's time. At long last. Let us force this door open, fledgling, and finish our assignments. Da -da -da. Bash that door down. This is Death's door. That's the title. Smile. And now, to the other side. Let's go, Grandpa. Boy, it sure is bright in here. I didn't expect Death's Door to be so bright. This is it. This is the place beyond, where no life is to be seen. Uh, hello? Nice fanny pack. Hey, how's it going? Oh, this is death. How's it going, bud? Are you... death? I thought the tales of the original Reaper were just the mad ramblings of the Free Crows. Yeah, well, I guess that's me. So if you didn't know I was real, that means you're not here to rescue me, huh? I... No, I'm sorry. We're here for another purpose. In fact... You might be able to help us. Wow, rude. But alright, I mean, what's a few more minutes after several centuries? So why are you here? Actually, how did you even get here? We seek souls that have passed through death's... Uh, your door. We are service-bound reapers. We require those souls to finish our tasks and restore our stature with the commission. Otherwise, we will die. Oh. Awkward. If you're looking for a soul here, then you're out of luck. Any non-corporeal souls that pass through the door are absorbed into the Aether. Soul energy has to be recycled to create new life. That's why my job was so important. Not that the living didn't hate me for it. I used to go around reaping souls myself and pick them up and take them beyond the veil. But it was so depressing. Not for the souls, they don't care, but for the living ones they left behind. Wish I could let them know dying isn't scary. It's just the cycle of life. thing is, over the vastness of time, I got very tired of that cycle. But then one day, a strange being came to me with a proposition. That being could create portals, doors, to any place or world. They offered to outsource collection of souls to an automated system using one of their doors. While it was open, it would draw in the souls of the dead. A lighthouse on the shores of the Aether, if you will. In return for this, they asked for their lives to be extended. Well, actually, they asked for immortality, but that's impossible. If souls stick around too long past their expiry date, then with nothing left to tie them to mortality, they decay into demonic forms. All life must end. Well, eventually. So while I kicked back, several generations of these self-proclaimed lords of the doors came and went. 
uh, enjoying their unnaturally long lives. Each one agreeing in the end to submit to the limitations of life and go willingly into the Aether. Until one didn't. Which brings us to your current Lord of Doors. Towards the end of what should have been their lifespan, your lord betrayed our long-standing agreement. They said there had been some kind of incident, that the door had malfunctioned and needed to be remade anew. For the door to be reconstruction, it would require the touch of death to link the door to the Aether. But after this new door was created and opened, the lord kicked me inside and sealed it shut. No way for me to escape. No way for stray souls to pass on to the Aether. No death among the living. I've been here alone ever since. But my assigned soul it must be here. It has to be here. I tracked it to this door. It must have entered here somehow. Are you sure you haven't seen it? Sorry, guy. If a soul comes in here without a body, it disappears into the aether. Sooner or later, everything that begins has to end. So, there's no hope. It must still be here somewhere. No, no, no. No! I wasted so many years searching for that soul. Decades. Centuries. I refuse to die. Uh-oh. I sense you're a little bit past your best before date. Something, something demonic forms. Oh, wow. <laughs> Alright, later. Grandpa, why? Ow. Oh, jeez. Can I attack that? I can't attack that. He's so slidey. I'm gonna go back to the sword, I think. Yeah, ow, that range. Range is much better. Shades is stuck over there. Uh, frames? I don't know if I can get that hit off or not. I keep trying, I haven't hit it yet. Oh, Grandpa. He wasn't attacking, he was just standing there. Okay. Yeah, let's retry. Here's the dive attack. I got a grappling hook too. You're not special. A lot of range there. Ow. I wish when you reflected like projectiles, they would actually go like kind of where you're aiming. And just go wherever.
He did not stand in front of him when he does that. We're just not standing in front of him ever. Oh, I didn't even see that one. Looking pretty beat up there, Grandpa. What's happening? Get out of there. Dead? Phase two? Pussy. <laughs> Fucking dipped out of there. Yeah. Can't tell you how long it's been since I felt a fresh breeze on my face or saw, well, anything. You never appreciate something until it's gone, do you? Saw a lot of that in my job, but until your Lord of Doors locked me up, I never thought it applied to me. Sorry about your big feathered friend back there. It's always hard for the living to let go of the dead. Even more of a rough one having to reap him yourself. I can sort of understand that feeling. Even if it wasn't your intention, you've done me a huge favor here, Crow. But this isn't over quite yet. Because while the door has been destroyed, my power is unfortunately still trapped in its remains. Forging the door required a piece of my own soul, and I need to get it back before I can do my job again. That means if we want to end this cycle, someone else has to take down the Lord of Doors. Have you guessed who yet? I won't be making any more deals again, that's for sure. Head back to your office and reap your boss's soul, Crow. And remember, death is on your side. Yeah, let's go. Just go reap your boss. Down here somewhere. Here? Ow. Stop that. Oh god, there's bugs. Oh god, there's so many bugs. I one shot these things. Uh, 
Uh, oh, there's a shiny thing there. So... Player there. What is that? Yeah, I was supposed to go kill my boss, but I'm a little sidetracked now. Souls. But uh, this actually give me another haste level up, I think. So that's pretty neat. I think it's going to be quite enough to max my melee out. That's 1500, but maybe. We need a decent amount of souls from all these bugs. bugs from these portals. You're not a bug. Like 300 more souls? You can probably manage that. Might even go uh, go look for some more souls. Get the melee damage up before the Lord of Doors. It's so close. I think over here is gonna be the compass. He found an old compass. It occasionally twitches in turns of its own whims. It's clearly very old. Perhaps the magnetism inside is mostly worn away. How many shiny things do I have? Not too bad. It's like more than half, it looks like. Around half. Oh yeah, Alter, if you're still here, I think I, think I found... was causing all my issues with Midgard, uh, like, frame drops and hitching. And I think the solution was very simple, and it was just that I had too many, uh, OBS sources. Because I started doing it for this game, too. And I deleted a bunch of, like, the sources for games that I'm just never playing again. And, uh, seems to be doing fine now. Oh, it's timed. I'm gonna be ma mana. Ah, yeah. right, give me your mana. Let's 
this. Who are you? Ow. That looks like... Uh... You have a back sweep. Mm. Uh, no, that's like a optional boss. I'll come back to you. But I would like I would like to finish Mr. Lord of Doors. Jeez. Before uh, tabletop tonight. And then maybe we'll do a 100%. How do I, wait, how do we get back? Uh. Help. Oh, how do I get out of here? Is it this way? No, it's not that way. Oh, oh there was a there was a ladder over here, right? Not this way. Yeah, I would like to finish the game, like the main game tonight, and then maybe I'll do a 100% stream next weekend. So after this, I think I'm going to play Grime, maybe. Not sure entirely what I'm playing next, but I've heard Grime's pretty good, and I played the demo. And I enjoyed it, so. That might be our next variety game. That's the entrance to, to that. Oh, there's the door. Oh, it's right next to this door. That's convenient. Oh. My fellow crows, we've arrived at a moment foretold long ago. Today, death's door has been opened, and death themselves have been freed once more into the world. They're not. It's not the end of days, but a beginning of a bright new future. The forces of life and death have been unnaturally thrown into chaos for a thousand years. We crows have played a hand in that. We must right our wrongs. We must accept our fates. We must reject those who lead us into a future with no hope. It's time for the Lord of Doors' reign to end, and for us to return to a natural life cycle. Even as our world teeters on the edge of oblivion, souls like these forest spirits still manage to emerge through the cracks. Soon a new age will begin, and the world will teem with new life. For that to happen, the final hours of this foretold day must play out as ordained. A crow that freed death will have to end the Lord of Doors' reign. That's me. I did that. More decks. Better sword swings. Hey guys. I guess we're all going to be out of our job soon. Finally, we can be free of the rat race. Never wanted to be a reaper, you know? Just a matter of necessity. Wonder what I could do next. I guess endless possibilities lie ahead. Of course, it all depends on you finishing your job without getting killed in the process. But I reckon you'll get it done, kid. But Paul Blart, head of security. <laughs> all this death and rebirth is a daunting prospect. But I think everyone here is sick of what this world has become. A new world. A new start. Wonder if there will be new TV shows, too. I feel like my whole world is crumbling beneath my feet. Somehow I also feel hopeful for the first time in... Actually, this is the first time I felt hope. Maybe I... Maybe I won't have to work so hard anymore. No doubt that you'll complete your task, old friend. Have faith in yourself. I know it seems the world is ending, but I really hope I can find a new job after all this. I honestly just love typing. The feel of the keys in my feathers. The clicking and the clacking as I push them down. Look at me getting carried away. Go on, you best finish cleaning this mess up. I have a resume to write. Alright, come on, fellas. Let's go. Let's go fuck this guy up. Let's go, boys. Oh, we lost we lost a couple. That's alright. You're my favorite anyways. Let's go. The 
Surprise, bitch. You it. All this. Any secrets over here? No, no secrets. I've been watching you, young crow. I never really thought it would come to this. Each of my kind are created by the Lord preceding them, and trained to take over their duties before they pass on. On the day we are created, we are told on the day which we will die. My predecessor, my creator, was a cold-hearted tyrant. Obsessed with rules and order, how things had to be. The old fool never even gave me a name, can you believe that? How would your life play out if you knew the exact day you were going to die? If every moment of your existence revolved around its ending. I had to do everything in my power to save myself. I know my actions are not entirely moral, perhaps not even justifiable. But I cannot just let myself die. I refuse to go without a fight. So, young crow, are you ready to fight for your life, as I am for mine? Oh, I guess I am. There's ground slams. Hey, get some bull doors, door bulls. This, what's happening? Uh, okay. Can we go? Oh, that's that's mean. I don't like that. Alright, bitch. Get your ass back here. Backhand. Why does everything have a backhand in this game? I'm waiting for the debate. When they were going to put the bull on the same side twice. But I could really use a, use a heal. Where, where are my spirit buds? Just don't backhand me. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, jeez. Oh, I thought I rolled that. Took any damage early on there. What is he just leave and close the door? Oh, we're starting from here? Okay. I like how he's making finger guns to summon the bulls. Oh, I can hit him there. Grappling though. Ah, 
Ah, no backhands for you this time. Looking pretty beat up. Uh, da, 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 da. There, left, right. Oh, you're doing you're doing the Betty thing. Nope. Yeah, it keeps it keeps stuttering sometimes. It's like it's not it's not the stream, it's actually the game. I should have recognized the arena, I guess. You just wanted to mod check? Yeah. That's fair. Mod check, a mod check is a great emote. Top tier for sure. Definitely buying the soundtrack. Okay, I gotta get ready for Betty now. Uncharted territory.
They're almost the right way. We're back here, are we? Where are you running, bitch? Oh, I'm full HP again. That's nice. Why are we here, Crow? Why do I exist? Follow in the footsteps of lords before me? Or repeat the exact same things over and over? To what end? What is the point? We all have to die eventually. Suppose I will never know. Because I will never die. The Last Lord. No backhands. Oh, the roll still. The roll still. Oh, the backhand. What do I do about that? That's a laser in my ass. Oh no, I rolled into it. <laughs> yeah. okay. We should have a checkpoint here, though. I hope. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're going to start with the roll. Oh, that can still hit me. I rolled that. Got a fucking backhand. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about that. That's the same attack that, like, that optional boss used. Like, the freeze. I don't know what I'm supposed to do about it. Is he always gonna start with the roll? house is gonna be oh another roll good good let's start down here I don't have anywhere to go there I knew he was going to do that too, I didn't roll soon enough. At that time, I don't know how I was avoiding those before. Okay. Big close range AoE. Got it. Oh, did that get faster? Do I have to roll spam to get away from that? 
That felt faster that time. Before I was just walking away from it. Can't. I can't grapple him to start. Oops. That was a bad attempt. Can I just... No, I can't just walk away. I need to, like, move multiple directions, I think. So, like, bait him to dash somewhere, because you can't roll or anything when you're in that. And there's nothing to grapple to in that room, besides him. I don't think I could grapple. I don't think I'll let me grapple during that, either. Okay, always, always roll start. Oops. Oh, I wouldn't have eye frame still. So if I walk away a little bit and then try and walk uh, under him, it looks like that works. Oh, I see. It, it moves fast if it's in a straight line, but if you uh, if you turn, it can't follow you as well. I just I went too straight to dodge the laser. Got it. I wasn't sure if you're gonna back snap backhand or do something else. Nope. Didn't work that time. Backhand. that consistently. Double backhand? What the fuck? Wait, I can grapple, but there's nothing to grapple to in this room, is there? Except him? I'm not really sure. Backhand there, uh, double, triple backhand. Unheard of. That was an obnoxious bull pattern. Please stop backhanding me. I 
Did that work? That might work. Back in. I have the worst time seeing where those bulls are going. I think, I think walk away and then grapple to him is enough to dodge that though. To dodge the slow time. I'm not sure what else I'm supposed to do. Options are pretty limited. I don't understand. I knew it was coming, I just rolled late. I knew there was the double. Maybe I try daggers. Let me go back to Old Faithful here. Definitely putting out more DPS. OP. Please. Forgive me. No. Absolutely not. Yeah. 
Today we mourn the passing of a being who shaped the very fabric of our world. The end of a lineage. The last Lord of Doors. To some, they were a mysterious leader. To others, a dark cloud looming over the world. Driven by a desire to be greater than their creator. They will be remembered for their part in the advancement of door technology. Their ability to maintain order in a dying world. And their unwavering determination to evade death. No matter the cost. Their pursuits may have been unwise, but the will to live is deeply ingrained. Who is to say what any of us could have done, given the same choices as this lord? Bow your head in remembrance, pay your last respects. Their time in this world is over. They're telling their stories. And singing their songs. And I, didn't, I never went back to hear the song. Well, we'll do that next turn. We'll do that for the 100%. Who's I mean, this big rhino man? I, I never saw you. There's the free crows. Which I guess is all the crows now. There's Pothead. <laughs> and all the little forest sprites. Oh. That's a... That was a great game. We're not done yet, obviously, but, you know, I have, uh... I have zero complaints. The art was great. The gameplay was solid and fluid. The soundtrack's amazing. Had a good mix of humor in there. And uh, I, I want to play more, so uh, I think I think next week we will finish up. I don't know if I'm gonna like 100%, 100%, but there's definitely a ton of stuff I didn't do. Created with Unity. Doesn't feel like a Unity game. Thanks for playing. <laughs> You're gonna eat him off the edge. Pro 
gamer. I get it. Like, pro gamer. We no longer have access to the soul vault. I can still use excess soul energy to enhance your combat abilities. Okay. So I guess this is our hub world now. That's neat. 